Welcome back to Fire Emblem Echoes! This time around, we've got somebody to save. Seems Claire got herself captured and the southern outpost fell. Again. So now we gotta take care of that. The southern outpost is just changing hands every 30 minutes. Yeah, so like, there was a whole DLC chapter that was dedicated to this very fortress falling. It's, it's the same like map it's it's the same one different enemies though this time thank goodness cuz some of the guys that came in for backup in that one looked pretty mean i don't know if we could have taken them but these guys pff, we got this who goes there more rebels ha! haven't you dogs learned your lesson yet we're not rebels we're the Deliverance! Everyone, with me! Watch out. That archer is carrying a powerful bow. We should only send in capable and cautious units to deal with him. Alright, so... This guy actually has a bow equipped, meaning... He has more range than the other archers we've been fighting. Only by one, though. <laughs> He's got a bow range of three, but still, that is very threatening, as you can see. The red spot is, uh, not all-encompassing, but, uh, I can see it from here, and I'm not up against the wall. I'm upset with myself because I saw Lucas's line, and my mind immediately went, Whoa, that tornado is carrying a car. <laughs> that archer is carrying a car. Get down. We're not just rebels, we're Fire Emblem heroes! -na -na. The thing is, come on guys, let's show this creep the real superpower of teamwork. Doesn't work as a joke in Fire Emblem, because it's just like one bad writer away from actually having that line in it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, uh, just shouting, let's show that creep the real superpower of teamwork does just become incredibly funny when several people do just decide to run up and beat one man to death like I'm doing here. <laughs> the real superpower of teamwork is very violent. We killed a man, he's dead. We burnt him alive and then stabbed him. Oh, there's a holy woman. Perhaps she'll save our souls. No, she's coming here to kill us too. Ooh, do not like that accuracy. <laughs> Tobin and that archer are just gonna shoot at each other this whole map. Neither one gonna land a hit. Oh, you poor man. <laughs> this is for my friends, who I'm showing you the real superpower of teamwork with. <laughs> They're cheering me on as I get a crit on you, and just absolutely murder the hell out of you. Or Lucas is. Cliff is just like, eh, just fucking kill him. Alright, well, 53 hit is not great, and I did miss here once, so... Could have been better EXP, but whatever, I got a level, maybe I'll get skill. No, but it's still three stats, that's amazing. Uh, and I can take some peace in the fact that, like, while enemies standing on the, the heal spots now does suck a lot and is really lowering my hit, it could have been so much worse. We would be here for, like, an extra ten minutes if this were Fire Emblem Gaiden. Just here for several minutes just trying to wail on one person. And just hoping that we can exploit the AI being dumb and removing themselves from the heal panel. If they do that, it's over for those bitches. Nice of all to let somebody else get a kill on this map. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of the, the lifting here. Yeah, 
<laughs> he has been a one-man choke point, but now Lucas is going to hopefully get that guy off that space. Indeed, he did, except no, that guy was actually going after Tobin for some reason. Well, actually, I know why. Tobin has worse defense, so of course. Well, I've got one more might than I did before, so like, if Faye manages to land a hit, that guy is done for. Until that happens, though, he's just gonna dodge. Oh god, that guy's helmet just went flying off. <laughs> that guy fighting Faye, it's just that one video of the spear dodging demonstration. Oh, that is still not great skill, my friend. Jesus. <laughs> what is with this archer? This archer is just very dodgy. Unfortunately, you know what he's not resistant to? Being burned alive. Oh god, it went through the castle. Why are forts <laughs> effective if even a novice mage can just launch a fireball that no clips through castles? <laughs> That's always the thing about walls in Fire Emblem. <laughs> you can always shoot through them, and it's always a little weird if you think about it. Uh, we did get the steel bow from that, and I'm absolutely gonna give that to Tobin, because he could use that more than a carrot. Alright, well, that's bow range 3, so prepare to die, I guess. To be fair, Cliff also has pretty good range. He's also got a range of three now that he has Thunder. I forget if I mentioned that last time, but yeah, Thunder is a slightly better range, a little more damage, but it takes two HP. I think yeah, I mentioned that. But we had a discussion on how the spells and echoes me are more meaningful. Mm-hmm. And that comes into play here because I didn't necessarily want to be wasting two HP per attack. Especially with a long-ranged bow user, just kind of to the side there. Oh hey, guess what? This is the dumbest man in the Zofian army. Now you're going to die. <laughs> the heal spot has become Faye's. Perish! Faye now has a large supply of oranges. You cannot kill her! <laughs> we have stolen the oranges! That you are preparing to eat. So delicious. Kinda lukewarm. And get his ass. Very dignified death grunts for somebody who's just been set on fire. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe I'm imagining things. That was a fine victory. Also, for as effective as Alm was, Cliff did wind up getting the most kills. We did it! The outpost is ours! Thank you, my brave friends. Thank you for everything. I know that my fallen comrades would say the same. Oh, Lucas. I'm so sorry. But we'll have time to mourn later. Right now, we must find Lady Claire. She must be somewhere inside the outpost. Alright, and now we can enter the outpost. So, towns aren't the only place we have that we can explore. We can also take a look around some forts as well. <laughs> I'm criticizing these soldiers. And then he just steals their rusted shield. <laughs> I only want this lance. Well, yeah, these were specifically left around. And these other lances? Mmm, these ones suck. These other lances aren't real. I feel like you would fight better if you used real lances. <laughs> <laughs> These lances are decoration. They're just glued to the rack. Oh, hello. Now, I don't want to speak to anybody. 
except for this sword over here. Hello, Lightning Sword, which is often called the Levin Sword. You look like you are a staple of this game. So, in the original game, the Lightning Sword was incredible, and for this game, it's incredible. <laughs> I kept forgetting you didn't have it yet, and I was wondering why Alm um, wasn't attacking from two spaces away more often. Yeah, so, uh, prime strategy. Uh, anyone who can use a sword can use the, the Lightning Sword. Give it to Alm, though. This was the technique in Fire Emblem Gaiden, and it's also what you want to do here, because it will make Alm just an absolute bastard on the battlefield. The Levin Sword does indeed have a range of 1 to 2. Claire! Lucas! You came to rescue me! Why, how simply gallant of you! Now extricate me from this filthy and unseemly cage at once! Kick it down, motherfucker! Yep, I, it sure I, is locked. I wish you could get dialogue by immediately leaving after that. I wish you could get dialogue by just looking at the prison cell. It's locked. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> you didn't think I tried that? Yeah, I'll just goes, I can't open it, it's locked, and Lucas just slowly turns his head. <laughs> you had to check on? I mean, the other thing, which would be funny as hell, is Alm just walks open and opens the door without getting a key, and then Claire and Lucas are just like, God damn it. That should do it. You there. The boy will offer a lady his hand. Who, me? Oh, uh, sorry. Very good. <sighs> I say, it does feel good to move about again. I thought I might never emerge from that disgusting pigsty. You have my thanks. Uh... This is Alm. He recently joined us in the Deliverance. Oh! Well, how simply lovely. Welcome! I am Claire. The young man may address me as Lady Claire or Milady. Um... Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Milady. So, from where do you hail Alm? I hail from a little place called Ram Village. A village? You don't say! That's one of those places with all the cows and the barns and the fields, yes? Um, yeah. Something like that. My word! I hardly ever speak with villagers. What is it like to chase cows every day? I wager they bite the nasty creatures. Hmm. And yet you aren't smothered in manure. This is not what I pictured. Right. Um... Claire, perhaps you should consider Alm's feelings in regards to his home. His... huh? Oh dear, have I done it again? It's as Clive constantly reminds me. The Deliverance is not like the Knights of Zofia. Not every soldier in our ranks is noble, but we must treat them all as equals. The peasant must forgive his lady for this gauche breach of etiquette. It's all right. The peasant, whose name is Alm, will get over it. Oh, Alm, I can see you are truly kind. Might I ask you more about your village later? I'm ever so curious. Of course. Splendid! I've always wanted to know more about cows and pigs and such. Yes, they're... they're amazing creatures. She's going to be a handful. Yeah, I, uh... <clears throat> that's what I'm hoping. Huh. Hey, what are you scheming? What? Nothing. Uh-huh. Go 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 girl I don't know if you've noticed, but she only seems to want to talk to all. Thank you for freeing us. I thought my time had come. You're new to the Deliverance, right? Then you'll want to hear this. They say Mother Milla has disappeared from her temple. That's why Regal was able to break the Divine Accord, which was supposed to prevent them from ever invading Sophia. I don't know how much of it's true, but it's disturbing nonetheless. Alright, well, thank you for telling us about this loophole. <laughs> Turns out, God's a bunch of bullshit, who would have guessed? 
All right, well, hey, Claire, we have your lance because DLC, so here you go. So yeah, now if we see any terrors, they're going to die. We also have another move that we'll get eventually, but we don't have it yet. Claire will probably keep her lance more or less forever, so we will learn it and we will keep it. Alright, so here comes Claire. She is here to be the platonic ideal of a Pegasus Knight. She is a little bit squishy and not ideal for more physical based units, but as a mage killer she works great. I mean look, that 2% growth rate is still one of the best in the game. <laughs> this is still Fire Emblem Echoes we're playing, so 2% growth rate is actually better than most. And a base 8 resistance means she's kind of more or less set in comparison to everyone else. But yeah, as stated before, she's not exactly ideal against physical based units and knights, yeah, with 8 attack and only a 35% growth rate in that area, she's not going to be super strong. However, she will have a high skill eventually. Her base isn't good, but 55 skill, nah, no, get out, get out of here. She's gonna be, she's definitely going to be hitting, and then once she's done being able to hit anything, she'll just start critting everything. Best of all, though, of course, is her speed at a phenomenal 75% growth rate and a pretty good seven as a base stat. Claire is going to be fast. If she's not already one of your fastest characters, just give her like two levels. <laughs> you, you don't need many before she's going to be able to double just about everything in the game. Which also means she's very dodgy. Again, better for mages, because if she fails to dodge, she can at least fall back on not dying to a fireball as badly as anybody else. But if you fail to dodge against a physical unit, yeah, her low HP and defense are not going to do her any favors. On another note though, she's also got very high luck, like both as a base stat, which is fantastic, and a growth rate. Look, if you need mages dead, Claire's your girl. If you see somebody with a high crit rate, not anymore. If you send Claire in there, that's going to stop being true. <laughs> They're not going to have a high crit rate anymore. Let's also give Faye a lance because I feel like it's more fitting for her to kill than to defend. And we're saving Fernand's lance for Fernand, right? Yep, totally. Uh, once we find him, he's getting his lance back. I mean, you haven't given it to anyone else. There must be a reason for that. Perhaps we'll see Fernand then next time on Fire Emblem Echoes.